must go. If you leave me now, we must stand. Oh, Jesus, 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 you're my helper. I am your, I am your. Tide de Krasuka, Jesus, I am your. If you leave me now, we must go. If you leave me now, we must stand. Oh, Jesus, 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 you're my help. Mm -hmm. Sister, the Lord has said to me, before you used to pray, but the prayer is very reduced. The Lord has said, before you used to pray, but now the prayer is not enough. The prayer is reduced. Are you listening English? It's not yet to be accomplished. It's not yet to be accomplished. It's not yet to be accomplished. Let me tell you, the children of Israel, they was in desert, they was in wilderness for how many years? Forty. Do you understand? But the Lord has sent Moses. He said, Moses, I send you. Go and take my people and bring them in Cana where there is a joy. But the Bible said before they reached the, what they see in the road, there was a problem. There was tribulation. Other the people, they give up. But those who have persist, those who have continued, is the people those enter in Cana. Even the Moses, he never see Cana. He's the one who was prophesied today. He was come, come and set them free. You understand, sister? That means do not give up. Even the promise God is not yet accomplished. Don't give up. The sister, she said, because me, I don't know her. She's a visitor. She said, God has promised her a lot, and she don't, she don't see nothing. And see, today, that's why she stopped praying. God is still God. Do you understand, sis? He said you used to pray a lot, but at this moment, you don't pray. He said, ask you a question, what is going on? Sister, God is still God. Even if, as long as you're still alive, there is an open situation. As long as you breathe, whatever promise he promised you is going to accomplish. Do you understand? Remember what I said to you yesterday. I said, I see the spirit of divorce in your marriage. Don't take it as a joke. Take it considerate. You must stand up again in the prayer. You must pray. Because enemy already attacked the marriage. You already attacked the finance. You already attacked many things in your family. So if you say, I'm not going to pray, you're going to experience yourself dryness again. The Lord loves you. The Lord promises is going to bring it overseas. You are not yet rich there. You are not yet go there. You're still in South Africa. As long as you're still here, there is a hope for you to go to other sides. Do you understand, sister? Yeah, the Lord wants you to save. You used to save God, <laughs> sister. Eh? You used to save God. Why you don't save God again? The Lord is say He's not happy because you already stopped working for God. Continue to work the way you used to work. When I was in Congo, I don't know Congo where you are coming. You used to be powerful by saving God. But at this moment, you're already done. Your father say, I must tell you, he's not happy because you already stopped the work of God. You used to work hard when you was in the Congo. You used to pray. But since you are in South Africa, the stress is too much. Don't forget your God. You have a promise. You already promised you a lot. It's going to accomplish, sister. It's going to fulfill. You know the family where you come is a Christian family. People, they are praying. You are not a pagan. No matter you don't see nothing, keep on praying. Your family is a family of Jesus Christ. You coming in the right place where people they are serving God, where people they will be blessed in the future. Future starting from tomorrow, sister. Your parents, your family, they serve God a lot. So the God is saying, whatever your parents did, your family, God is saying, is going to remember you. There is nothing good is coming. The Lord is saying, no matter is coming slowly, you people must wait. Surely, really, is going to be accomplished. The day for Yolobola is the day where the problem was happened. The day for ceremony, when the two families was gathering, is where the problem was happened. Since that time, thing is not all right. They already say, this woman she's praying, she come in our family, will block a lot of things. You are a clever lady. You are intelligent woman. Very intelligent. Very intelligent. But you are not reach the level of your intelligence. You can never get the job according to your intelligence. Mama, just wait. God's going to provide a nice job for you. Don't not stress. Don't worry about your family. God is taking care of your family. Do you understand? It's taking care. You are stressing a lot concerning your family. God is there for your family. You can continue to pray and the Lord is going to provide for them. The battle is too much. The family for your mama, they are very, very evil. Evil people. It's the people, those are fat you people. They don't want you to, to prosper. The family for your mother, there's too much witchcraft. They don't want you people to prosper. But the Lord is saying, no matter they are evil, your people will prosper. 
you people will success. You people are going to make it. You know in the family, the way they give you birth, there is a wise woman. There is a wise, man, intelligent person. But you don't reach that level. I see the diploma, but I don't see job. There is a lot of diploma in your family. I don't see nasty job. Do you understand, sister? A lot of diploma day, but there's no job apart from because that document, enemy already transformed the document, he already changed the document. There's nothing good is coming. The diploma is sitting today. In this family, for this one, the clever girl, intelligent, licensed, by engineer, but what? But the people, they are not working. There is no job. There is nothing because enemy already transformed the diploma. That diploma has already become a script. They take the tannies. They take the tannies. They say, this family, if we open, that we leave them. They're going to work in the nasty job. They will prosper. Hallelujah. God must do something. God's going to help you, sister. To coming in the synagogue is not for nothing. God's going to change your life. God's going to bless your family. God's going to bless your marriage. Keep on praying for your family. That's a family for you. It's calling to be blessed. It's a rich family. It's a bl but enemy of his mother, they already block. They say they, can, they are clever people. I don't know her. She's a visitor. But I see intelligence. I see blessing. The Lord is saying, they mustn't give up. No one must give up in your family. God's going to do great things. God's going to do great in their family. God will pay them for the work of God, for the sacrifice. They've been praying a lot. Now people are tired. Don't tire, sister. Good news is coming. You're already in the accomplishment. You're not in the promise. You're already in the accomplishment. This sister is working in the roof of stress. God, I come here, I suffer again. Think it's not okay. It's not what you God to promise me. <laughs> what I see today is not what you God to promise me. Even the Israelis, when they was, they was telling Moses, why? You're supposed to leave us there. Save the Egyptians. Now you bring us now. Now we don't see nothing. You're supposed to leave us there to cook there, slavery, but you are hitting. Now we come, we come, we find ourselves in desert. Is what is happened in the family for this sister. The God has promised them a lot. There's no accomplishment. He's going to accomplish, sister. The Lord's going to help you. The Lord's going to wipe your tears. What God wants from you, remove stress. Stress is what's going to kill you. And I see the sickness of high blood pressure in the family. That sickness is in the family. Why? Because people are thinking, not blood, high blood pressure. I see high blood pressure. People of God, sister, please, don't stress. High blood pressure is in the corner for you. It's the sickness enemy are prepared for you to die because of stress. They already put that sick. Everyone in the family, it's a generation case. It's in the blood. From your parents, mama, from mama, the children, even your grand-grandchildren. It's for you to pray and break that sickness. That sickness is disturbing people in the family, diabetic. It's disturbing people in the family. That is the two sickness. Yes, you can see sisters, that sickness too. High blood pressure and diabetic is in their family. It's in the blood. We call it a generation case. And then we already send their kingdom. They will start finish, die one by one from that two sickness. That's why if sister, if you give up, they will bury you also with diabetic and, and, and blood pressure. But if you stand up strong, that sickness will never kill anyone in the family. Those that already died, let them die. But you are the one going to stand on behalf of your family. The Lord they say you are the intercessor of your family. You pray a lot for your family, sister. You cry a lot. You do sacrifice a lot for your family. God is saying, I must tell you, he will answer you. He will provide for you. She's there. Sometimes she don't pray for his problem. Sometimes she pray only for the family because it's too much, too much. There's nothing good is coming in the family. Marriage, people enter, they come out. People, they enter marriage in us. They come out, they come out because of the plan of the mother's sides. Idol worship of your mother's side. They don't want. Nothing good is coming. But the Lord that chooses you as an intercessor of your family. Keep on fighting. Keep on, don't tire it. If you say you stop to pray God, that means the enemy that overcome you. The Lord is said they shall never overcome you. No matter how many years you've been in struggle, you people are going to testify. Accomplishment really, it shall come. She said because God don't answer them, that's why they give up. They don't want to pray again. It's not a reason. Even he bless us or not, it's still our blessing. Even he giver or not, it's still our giver. As long as you still have breath. As long as the Lord is by your side, don't give up people of God. Sister, God loves you. He's going to fight your battle. The stress is too much. I come in Asuka. Where can I go? When you come to the prophet, come with happiness. Because you come to meet the God of that place. The one going to change you. The one going to fight your battle. Don't say I'm rich at the end. As long as you're still alive, there is a hope in your family. God is going to provide. 
you must know from today. Keep on fighting H, high blood pressure and diabetic. That two sickness is not a physical, it's a generation case. That the enemy attack, idol worship, in the evil other, the red is in this generation, they would have that two sickness. High blood pressure and diabetic. Even the small children, even the, it's for her sister to stand up and break the generation case. People they are struggling in his family from that sickness. People they die of that sickness. But God is saying, Ash is not going to die because she's a chosen one. God has choose you as intercessor. The one going to take them out from that situation. Sister, God loves you. Continue to love your God. No matter you are passed in the wilderness, no matter you are passed in the valley, God is still love you. God is still protect you. Sister, I've got emotion. Yes, the emotion is too much and the stress is too much. Let your friends come because they're still in your synagogue. Mama also come with the twin. Sister, God's going to do something. Don't cry. Put your trust in God. Can you, can you raise up? Raise a hand because the stress. You know when they stress and they tell you, Sister, God's going to do something. Come in these three days. Better the hands. We still have two days, tomorrow and Friday and Sunday. Better the hands than in these two days. Come with the documents. If you have your feature for your family, your picture, bring the picture. I will deliver your family. If there is a document, if they are in Congo, tell them to send the document because their document already reversed. My document is already reversed. If other they can send documents on WhatsApp, let them send their document. If you have your document, send it on WhatsApp. I can bring it tomorrow. I will pray for it tomorrow or Thursday or Sunday. Let's go because the problem is the document. They already reversed. If you start university, you finish. You don't get a job. You become useless. Is what has happened to his family. Many people, they've got diploma. They don't progress. God will help you. Father Lord, I dedicate your servant. Father Lord, wipe his tears. She's here because of you. Father, you promise I'm going to set her free. Deliver her. Any demon, I command that demon to leave you. In the name of Jesus. Leave her. In the name of Jesus. They shall leave you today. That demon of your mother's house, I command that demon. Wherever they touch, yes, I take them out. May that demon leave you. Yes, that demon must leave you. Out in this body. Out in the name of Jesus. Out from this body. You demon, you don't want this woman to prosper. You steal the vision. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus. I arrest you. I arrest you. I arrest you. Let the fire catch you. Be arrest. Be arrest. From that body in the name of Jesus, I arrest you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. They shall leave you in the name of Jesus. You are blessed and you are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. How are you doing? Where's your children? Where's your husband? Yes, I see the love of stagnation is too much. Suffering is too much. There is nothing good is coming. Sister, you cry a lot. You cry and you struggle a lot. I see in the family, witchcraft is too much. There's a lot of witch. Those witch already tell you long time ago. Whatever you are trying to do, nothing is coming. Whatever your husband tried to do, there is nothing. They just only bring anger. Anger is too much. Anger to your husband is too much. Enemy manipulates your husband. It's what is only success in the house. It's only the hunger. The love is too small. Sister, don't tire. Don't leave that marriage. God is going to fight your battle. Sometimes you feel to give up. God is saying, don't give up. I see in the house, darkness is too much. It's what the enemy always come down. Every night they come down. They touch your husband. He can insult you. He can say whatever. It's not your husband. It's that a demon. When he's calm. It changed everything. Even the finance for husband already touched your finance. The finance for husband already touched it. Don't give up. God's going to give you victory. You are the one who must stand up and pray for your husband. You must stand up to pray for your family, sister. There's nothing good is coming. In your family, they already put in your face suffering. This one will never see clear. Whatever she's going to do, nothing. What you're going to give, only she's going to start LLF children, children. In that area, they don't block you. The area of giving charge. They don't block. But in money, they block everything. God loves you. 
God is going to fight your battle. You think too much about your family. You stress too much about your family. Sister, you're going to bless your family. You're going to help your family. Don't no stress. Especially when you receive information, it stress you too much. The Lord said, don't stress. God is going to provide a nasty job. You're going to work, I'm telling you. Next year, 2023, it's not going to finish. You're going to work with a nasty job and you're going to provide and going to support your family. The Lord said, remember what your family, they say, don't forget us. They were telling you, don't forget us. Really, God's going to bless you and then your family, they're going to enjoy. Money, they close. Your husband, problem. God's going to help you. Do not ask many questions. That marriage is for you. God that give you that marriage. The problem is the enemy, they stand up. They block everything. The money that your husband gets is not enough. There's no money enough. And you are stressing too much. You ask many questions. There's too much calcul. God he says is going to be with you until the end of the world. Trust only in God. Believe only in God. And the Lord's going to deliver your husband. Just be silent. No matter your husband can shout or talk. It's not your portion. Be quiet. Pray for your husband. The enemy is manipulating your husband. It can be good in the morning. In the evening, the husband change. He become like a waiter. It's not him. The enemy. So what is your reaction when your husband starts shouting? What? Also, also the anger come. Mm -hmm. Also the anger. By your side also, the anger is too much. Short temper is too much. The plan of Satan is for you to shoot, to kill your husband with the knife. Is what the enemy plan. When the hunger comes to you, I can do something to my husband. Don't do it. Pray for it. And the Lord's going to deliver your husband. Because there's too much misunderstanding. There's no connection between your husband. There's no connection. Why? Because everything is a spirit. It's not a physical. Let God help your husband to be open. Do not secrets. If he had the money, there is no blessing. The husband don't consider it to you. He keeps secret too much. He's close too much. That is the big problem. You don't tell you everything. You are stressing also. Anything is just hide. Even the phone. People, sister, it's a problem. There is a problem in the marriage. All the thing is not physical. It's not your husband. It's the enemy that you had behind your husband. It's the enemy that is doing that. The plan of Satan is for you to be polygam. Your husband must be polygam. The spirit of polygam in his family is too much. Even the words you always tell you, I'm going to marry another wife. It's not your husband. It's that a demon. Sister, you must pray a lot. Be a woman of prayer. Here you are. You are in the right place. I don't know the person invites you. You are in the right place. You are still in the marriage. Don't allow Satan to take your marriage. Because the way the husband speaks to her, we must go. I must marry the... It's not your husband, sister. It's that a demon. He wants to make you anger. You close your stuff. You know December, you experience challenge. You experience what? Challenge in the marriage. But you pray for it. You know, today, tomorrow, Friday, Sunday, these three days, God is able to answer you. You're going to experience challenge by your husband's phone. That phone, it will bring challenge. And I see a big fight is coming. You're going to fight a lot. But you pray in these three days. Let God deliver your husband. Let God set your husband free. There's too much secret in that phone. God's going to help you. Your prayer, the Lord wants you need to be in the prayer. Be in the prayer every day for your husband. You can never change him physically. You can never change it by fighting. You can never change it by cross. You're going to change your husband by prayer. When you pray, God is able to deliver your husband. Because what is happening in your marriage is not a normal. It's a spiritual. You know the family of your husband is a evil family. Evil is too much. They don't want people who pray God. That is the, they don't want people to be in the marriage. The women, those that are in the marriage in your family, those women, they are fighting them too much. But you're going to overcome. Because you come to synagogue today. They want to choose the woman that they will choose. We want to choose this woman. is what they want in the family for your husband. To choose the ladies. But marriage can never choose the ladies. Do you understand, sister? Pray a lot for the family of your husband. God must forgive them. God must destroy them. Because they are against your marriage. Your family, the family for your husband, they meet together. It becomes a fire. God's going to fight your battle. God's going to deliver you. You focus in the, in the work that I see. There's a nasty. Are you working? You are not working. But I see a nasty job. 2023. The job is going to locate you in the house. There's a connection is coming. Because I see in the family for you. People are crying. People are praying for you. God bless our sister. People are crying a lot. I see people are making noise. People are disturbing God. Say, God, deliver our sister. Bless our sister. Here we struggle. Your family, they struggle. They struggle too much. Their hope 
is on you. You are the hope of your family. Don't take it by grant. You are the hope of you. That's what the enemy, he wants to take you out from the marriage phase. Marriage must finish. This woman must suffer. But suffering is not your portion. You know, in the family where you are coming, I see a big boat. We call what in French? Calabas. Calabash. You know it. In that one is where they put the love of everybody in your family. They put, that's why there's nothing good is coming. Even the marriage was a battle. There was a problem, but God is the one that do it. They, that's Calabash. They put everybody. They already limited you. There's a spirit of limitation in your family, sister. God must really help you. Break that Calabash today. That, you, know, you know Calabash? Yeah. Vunja, break it today. Is where your life is. And there's also an evil attack, the black place where they are gathering. They say, that's one. Even if it's in Africa, can never leave Africa. She will never leave Africa. She will die in Africa. They already limited you, sister. Pray and sing for God. You're a great singer. You already give the gift of singing. Sing for God. Through the singing is where God is fighting your battle. For you to touch money, sister, is a problem. God must deliver your husband to show everything. Your husband must be open. When your husband is open, blessing of God is going to overflow. Do not accept your husband to travel the face. Don't let your husband go and you follow. No. When he goes, he's going to go forever. Because I see documents, I see visa, I see something, and I see like your husband in the airport. Don't do it. God must close the door. If you travel, you must go together. Do you understand this? Because if he go, finish for you. Do you know that? He's planning to go. You know. Clap for Jesus. The husband planned to go. And he says he's going to call you and the children. God is good. Please, sister. Don't. <laughs> oh, we don't want prophets. Prophet, they reveal what is going to happen. Hey, mama. I'm going to say, ma. When this husband is planning to go, but God, I don't know nothing. They are visited. They just come only yesterday and today. I don't know them, but see what God speaks to them. Oh, prophet, they are bad. Prophet, they reveal what is coming. That is the work of the prophet. Do you understand? See, don't pray. Me, I want you to put it in the prayer. Do you understand? Pray for it. God, close my husband though, because if you go, he's not going to call you. I can't lie to you. And don't go accuse me to your husband. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Why I say so? There is a sister, I'm not going to mention his name, the sister of synagogue. We used to pray since we went back. I said to the sister, I see your husband go and you left. Your husband is not going to call. She didn't say nothing. And the sister go and the husband come after three days. The husband say, there is a connection from UK. I want to go. The sister said, let me go ask my sister. She come again in my office again. I said, sister, me, I'm going to pray to God. If your husband go, he's not going to call you. You're going to stay in Cape Town. She's going to marry another sister. The sister also, I don't know how mama, because of the love, if maybe then in Johannesburg, they start to talk everything. My master, she says so. She's going to close the door. You are not going to go. Really, I was in the prayer for it. Because when God puts husband and wife, it's forever. If it's to travel, you must travel together. Because we experience synagogue. Some people, when the husband go, he forgets their wife. So me, I don't accept those things. So I was in the prayer for me tonight for three, one weeks. God, that man, if it's to go, they must go together with that sissy. Hallelujah. If you give me a request, I will take it serious and you receive a hands. So after that, <laughs> that man, he said, the wife, you're going to go face your family. We're going to sell this stuff and the car. Tomorrow I receive a call in the morning. They said to her, the journey other person go. You are not going. Your journey has been canceled. Since that day, that is sister, she don't come to church. The husband said, if you put your feet to that evil prophet, I will kick you out. <laughs> Hallelujah. See if you put your feet in that evil prophet. So the sister, Kobama Esther, see what my husband say. She refused me to come. I said to the sister, not, not a problem. Stay at home. Distance is not a barrier. We protect our marriage. Me, I can't accept husband to go first. The wife left because I know the secret. When the men go, they don't call the wife. Many women, they are if you are here, man or woman, someone want to go. Me, Esther, come to me. Give me that request. I will close the door. Your husband is not going to go. And still the journey must go. You and your husband, you must go together. Yeah, that is my principle. That is what my law in synagogue. My mom, my husband want to go. Call, come. Me, I will close the door. That husband, is, no matter they give you visa, passport, you will never go. Sister, you understand? You go pray. Pray for this prophecy. 
God is say, if your husband go, who bring you? I want the witness. Who, who bring you? Come from? Who invites you? No one. So what? No, no one invites you. You come alone. Ah, oh, clap for Jesus. <laughs> God is good, eh? No one invites her. You stay around her. She stay in the salty river. Eh? They stay the same place with my mama. Though. No one invites you. You just decide yourself by fire, by force. I will go. She's here. I listen a lot. Let me go. Now, Mona, I must see. <laughs> God is good. Sister, do you understand? I don't want problems for your husband. But keep it in secret. Do you Otherwise, men, they will hate me. That's prof. Me, I don't like people to hate me. People must love me. But I follow what my father tells me. He said, when you go, he shall never call you. He shall never come back to you. Protect your marriage by prayer. Father, if you want me and my husband to travel, let us go together. That is a good blessing. Not this one, you go another one for, it's a story. We listen many stories, sister. God must help you. God must fight your battle. That request, pray it in secret. God, don't allow my husband to leave me. If he's to go, provide money, provide documents, we shall fly together. Do you understand? That is the prayer for three days. I want you to pray that because I see the journey is closed. In the realm of the spirit, I see the connection and I see your husband's success and go. Your ja the journey is close. Why I say so? I see the journey is close. Whatever plan is planned, it's going to go. Really, it will success. But me, I don't want his divorce. I don't want again to start praying for divorce. God, bring the husband. It's not our portion. Do you understand, mama? Let me pray for you. Father, I bless your name in the love of your servant. Whatever plan that demon a plan for you shall never work. I set you free. I deliver you. Every spirit of divorce, poverty, suffering, I set you free. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord visit you. May the Lord answer you. May the Lord provide. May the Lord fight your battle. May the Lord deliver you. I pray for resurrection. I pray for peace and I pray for miracle. May the Lord answer your prayer. As you are joining us today, before Sunday, before 2023, let God accomplish your promise. Receive a victory. Receive a solution. Receive a testimony. Receive a protection. My God answer you. May the Lord provide. May the Lord give you victory. I bless you and I bless your home. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. You are free in the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying, be ready and be concentrated. Do not be in distraction. I see blessing is in your house. I see testimony and I see a great job. A great one. You are not going to go look for the job and I see miracle job is going to locate you. The Lord is saying your faith is going to push God to do it after this service. The Lord is going to make you great. The job that you see is going to be permanent and I see you signing a contract. The Lord is saying you're going to rejoice. After 40 days, glorify God because the Lord already answered your prayer. And the second message, the Lord is saying to me, keep on praying for your mama. The battle that was to his sister, the battle was already going back to your mother because your mother has prayed for his sister. So the enemy already say, ah, she's the one decides to take that person out from slavery. So with that battle, it's already go back to your mama. But the Lord is saying, because you are here, the Lord that give your mother victory in Jesus' name. The family for your mama, they will gather him together. Peace is going to come. That family was too much love, but enemy has entered and bring division. But I see after 40 days, because of your prayer, the love is going to enter, the unity, even the children, they will be together. But the enemy has bring separation. God is saying, I must tell you, Stella, after 40 days, the Lord has hear your prayer. He's going to bless you. He's going to deliver your husband. You're going to see your husband in the presence of God. The problem is the is attack. The attack that is connected to your husband is very strong. They don't want your husband to be in the presence of God. They want you to have a problem. That's man, that's man. Is what the enemy wants. He wants the spirit of polygam. Break the spirit of polygam because that spirit is by your husband's side. The spirit of polygam. But the Lord is saying, it's not your portion. And the Lord is saying, keep on praying for your husband. The friends and environment, the people those are close to him, is not a good people those are close to your husband, they don't give a good advice, they don't give him a good advice, only a wrong advice to destroy your marriage, God is saying keep on praying to your husband and the Lord, husband, the Lord is going to separate your husband with the wrong people, there is a wrong people in your marriage, people those are bring bad idea, when he come at home your husband he pretends, but when he's outside there is a wrong idea, God is saying pray for it a lot and the Lord is going to give you victory, you know that husband 
for you. He's a good husband. But the enemy sometimes is transformed. He's put anger to you. He's put anger in your husband. You fight. It's not the will of God for you and Papa to misunderstand. It's the will of Satan. Especially by his side. They don't want the woman who pray. That is the big problem. Once she gets a beautiful woman, once she gets the woman who pray, that is the major thing they are fighting your marriage. But the Lord is saying, no matter the battle, you will success. You will travel, Mama. You will go to get of your husband. In overseas, I don't see you here in Cape Town. I don't see you stay in Cape Town with your husband. The time is already there. Keep on praying. Keep on fast for next year because next year there is a glory. There is a grace that's going to locate you, sailor. God is saying, whatever I'm going to write on, on Sunday, that's Thanksgiving or 31st. The Lord is saying, keep on push for your journey. The Lord wants to open the door for you. The way he do for other people is the way he's going to do for you. You will leave South Africa by fire, by force. And when you go, and I see the member of your family starts coming from overseas. They will come. They will come from overseas. But he pray for the relationship between you and the family for your husband. Pray for the relationship. There is no relationship is not too much. They pretend, but they are jealous. They are fighting. They are jealous. But the Lord is saying, no matter they are jealous, that marriage belongs to you. They pretend to call you, but relationship eh, between you and your husband said, is not working properly. That means there is no electricity. <laughs> <laughs> that means there is no electricity is not passing that means them they are jealous the God that is inside you the family where you are coming the people are jealous because of your family because it's a blessing family it's a great family no matter what Stella your family is going to be blessed your destiny is going to be blessed you know the member of your family they will be great as your father be that blessing was in your father God already transferred it to your family you will be blessed People will be jealous of you. Keep on praying for your family. Keep on praying for the unity. And the Lord's going to bring unity and it's going to protect your family. You must know you are the Joseph of your family. You are a blessing. No matter what. When they disturb you because they know who you are. You are a Joseph. You are the one going to take your family out from slavery. That's why they don't want you to go other sides. They don't want you to go to overseas. They are blocking your road. Because they is where there is a meal. Is where there is a meat. Meal is small, but meat is where is that side. You know milk and meat, there's a difference. When God is telling the children of Israel, he said, the land that you go, you are not going to go in the land where there is a milk. He was telling the Israelites, you go in the land where there is a meat. That means there's a difference between milk and meat. The land where God is bringing you is the land where there is a meat. Keep on praying. Keep on supporting the work of God. It's what God wants for God to release you. We're going to go by fire, by force. I see babies coming. God's going to bless you with a baby. You will travel with the baby, Stella. God's going to give you a baby. I don't see if you want to, but I see a baby. The baby is coming. But I should travel with a small baby. You're going to travel. It's for you to pray. If you don't want to go with the small baby, complain yourself to your father. But me, I see the small baby. The baby is coming. Anytime and any day. Do you understand? You know, in your hand, Stella, there is a diamond. There's a gold in your hand. There's a diamond. The enemy already see everything. That's why he's fighting. So if you get something good, you lose it like this. Something good can come. When I put to Makaji, Makaji, I be on a kuya. You can end up because enemy, you don't want you to enjoy. But God is saying, after 40 days, you're going to recover everything. Now she cared that. The benediction you put on the blessing is close to you. You must know who you are. You have the responsibility of your family. Family yako is in your hands. Pray for it. Keep on praying. Love must dominate. You know my concern, my mother The advice I was not today. The advice that your mama give, put it in the practice, and you will success. God bless you. Thank you. How are you, brother? Stand up, one and professor, Papa. You are not. Are you a visit? Are you a visit? Yeah, that's. God, God, gonna, God, God can ask, God's going to help you. Do you understand? When you give yourself to God, the blessing is there. When you give yourself to God, healing is there. When you give yourself to God, restoration is there. Do you understand? God needs you. I mean, who is that one? Is your neighbor? Yes, God bless you. If you give to God, God will bless you. What, I say something. Can I say something? The place where you are working. Where are you working? Hmm? Yes. Please pray a lot. Eh? Because in December, I see the gangster enter in that place. The first person, the target to shoot it to you. 
You are the first person they try to shoot before you close the company. Please, God must protect you. I see the, uh, a gangster jump and enter the end of fund you. The mission for Satan is to shoot only you. Because you are here today, God protects you in Jesus' name. Because you are here today, my God save you in the name of Jesus. The jealous is too much. People, they are jealous of you. You are a clever, intelligent, a work, a work, what can I say? Hard work. That is you. You are hard work. The enemy of your father's house is fat you too much. The enemy of your mother's house, they fat you too much. Between that two family, there is no peace. The problem is too much in your family. God is saying, give yourself to God. They want is your blood to fail. Because you already know this one. You've got a heart. The heart of giving. The heart of love. You love people too much. But people, they deceive you. The deceive is not a problem. God is the one going to reward you. But my focus is what is going to happen before you close the company in December. The Lord must give you victory. Even they enter inside, the Lord must protect you. But let me tell you, you escape many deaths. You're supposed to die a long time ago by shooting, by gang, by many things. But the Lord has saved you. This moment, the Lord brings you again in this place for you to know God is there. For you to walk in the, in the road of God. You are not going to die. You escape many deaths. Do you know that? You escape many deaths. You're supposed to die a long time ago. But the Lord is fighting for you and protects you. Avoid the problem. Your hands must be clean. When your hand is clean, the Lord is defends you. Do not act yourself. Let God fight your battle. The battle that you always fight in the area is not a physical battle. It's a spiritual battle. Do you understand? You react fast, fast. Short temper is too much. You are quite fast to react. But this December, the Lord wants you to be silenced. Whatever you're going to see December, don't react. The Spirit of God must neutralize you. Must bring, because they need your head in this December, brother. God must help you. No matter people, they offend you. But be patient because I see you, your body in the mortuary in December. They shoot you. But because you're in the presence of God, God must protect you. Please, brother, be silent. You are fast, fast to react. God wants you to be silent. Patience. When you are patient, you're going to overcome that death. Do you understand? Many accidents, God will protect you. Many people are jealous of that area. People are thinking bad against you. People are planning evil against you. But because you are innocent, God always delivers you. He always fights for you. Go arrange the relationship. There is a place where you are. Eh? There is no communication. God wants you to arrange a relationship. Background is not good. There's many people you don't talk. Other people you don't talk. Before you cross over. The Lord wants you to arrange a relationship with many people. And you see your road next year. Your road is going to be open. You are a great one. You are the one going to support your family. But the enemy don't like all those things. The enemy is fighting you. Arrange the relationship. Do you understand? Yeah, the people that you always fight, avoid, run away from those people. Give your love to Jesus Christ and you're going to be safe from December. Drink is not your portion. Smoke is not your portion. The love of gangsta is not your portion. Give yourself to God today. I don't know you, but God needs you. God wants you. To come in today is not in vain. The Lord has a good plan for you. Give yourself to God, not only you, and the member of your family, they also accept, they don't accept Jesus. Even the friend that you friend can't, all of them through you, they will know God. They will abandon what they are doing. They will be a new creature. If you don't accept this one, there is a danger. Your life is in danger. The spirit of death is close to you. God loves you, brother. He will protect you. Come, I pray for you for protection. God must protect you. Father Lord, I dedicate this boy before you. You would want to know him the best. Me, I don't know him. I know him physically, but you know him spiritually. But the Lord protects you from death. You shall not die. Sickness, accident, gang is not your portion. I cover in the blood of Jesus. Enemy say you are not going to finish 2022. I declare you shall finish this year 2022. I cover you and I protect in the blood of Jesus. May the blood of the Lamb defend you, protect you, fight for you. And give you victory in Jesus' name. Receive a freedom. Thank you. You are free in the name of Jesus. Go and sit. Mama Tandera, let this brother be in the prayer in December. Yes. You must be in the attitude of the prayer December. Force him to be in the church. 
Because that gangster I see is going to be in December, that attack. But when he is in the prayer, the Lord will keep on giving him victory. And he shall testify the goodness of God. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What is the, again the militia? Lysia. There is a good news is coming. Do not neglect the power of the prayer. Be concentrated and be focused. The Lord wants to bless you too much. In the family for you. I don't see the person that God will bless like you. You will be blessed a lot. That's what the enemy is fat to you. He don't want you to get a job. He don't want you to enjoy. You already know this one, when we leave her, she will do great things. Please pray for your life. Pray for your job. And pray for your hands. The Lord must bless the work of your hands. Whatever work that you are doing, you're going to prosper. Because I see a star is shining in your head. And ask God, why the star shine? He said, this one is the one I appointed. It's the one I choose in the family. You are the one God will choose to take off your family. The sister can be, the brother can be there, but you, you are the one the Lord that chose Lucia. Your life is in the hand of God. You are not going to prosper many times in Cape Town. You will prosper in overseas. The Lord's going to bring you other sides. Where there is a meal, where there is a milk. Even if it's not today, even next year, even if not next year, the Lord's going to bring you other sides. Be concentrated and be connected. Give yourself your love to God. The Lord wants to bless you with a good marriage. Marriage is there. Good husband, the one who got money, money. The one who got something, <laughs> something good is a person that I see. Not a poor, not the person struggle. The person who got money, that his life is already be restored. God is say, concentrate yourself and pray a lot for that marriage. Because the spirit of your father, the family for your papa, they are very wicked. That the people those already say, in the family for our brother, children, they shall not prosper. They shall never get married. They shall never enjoy. There's a limitation. But God of 40 days, he said today, is breaking the limitation. There is no more limitation after today. That's why he said, you're going to fly. You're going to enter in your destiny. You're going to get among your family. I don't see someone going to get a rich husband as you. The Lord already provides a good husband. The one going to be a papa of your family. The one going to be a mama of your family. In these 40 days, you are not a loser. You are a winner. I see marriage and I see a permanent job. Job is coming from one, two, three, four months. I see a nasty job. You're going to work. God is saying, remember God, with your 10%, the job is close to you, Lucia. It's close to you. The marriage is close to you. The Lord wants to honor you. Keep on doing it. Keep on avoid other things. So that the prophecy of today shall going to be accomplished. You know, in your family, people have finished the school, but I see diploma, they don't get nothing. They are, fin they are clever people in your family. They finish the school, but I see their diploma, Nakota Malabish. They take it, they put it in the bin, the member of your family. But God is saying, because you are here today, their diploma is going to have value now. Wherever they apply, they don't get nothing, your family. That is a big problem is in your family. That is a big issue. But by your side, the door is open. Enemy already see this one is going to get a nasty job. This one is going to get a nasty husband. They want to bring you the sickness of headache. Prayer book upon a headache. They want to make madness. The spirit of madness. So this one can never concentrate. Every time you feel headache, pray for that headache and the Lord will give you victory. This day you complain a lot. Headache, headache. You complain a lot, Lucia. So what did you say? What did you do when you complain? You just she just drink medicine. It's because that sickness I see headache is not a physical. Is the attack already they attack you? They say this one she must be confused in the head. She must be like a trouble person. Mutuna esala biente. That is the plan of Satan to make confused. So even that good husband come, you're gonna say my wife, this fiance, she don't deserve me. Mutu is also the head is jumping. I was jumping. <laughs> Do you understand the people like that? Is what please focus a lot. Come, I pray for you. Focus a lot with that headache. That headache, headache is coming to destroy you. But God of 40 days is going to heal you. Papa, give me oil. Today I will preach small. I told you. I will preach small. I will prophesy a lot and I will bless you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But Koshima Rezai Bele, but Natime is too much. This one, like this, this one, this one, this one. Let me tell you. God said, Don't fear nothing. Even the Natime may come. It's the prayer that you pray. When you pray, Natime is coming. 
your, your prayers are already rich today. Especially this moment, there's too much confusion in the dream. Don't fear nothing. Sometimes you stress, you dream your papa. Your papa already died. It's a spirit of death. Your papa is coming every day to you. The Lord is saying, pray. Break that spirit. It's a spirit of your father. You know the family of your papa. They already go to the grave and take the spirit of your papa to want to visit everyone. The one who got a soft head, as an amutua soft, is the one going to die. Is what they are preparing for December, the family for your papa. That's why you see papa every time. You see your papa. He's stressing you now. You say, why my father is coming too much? It's not your papa. They already take his face. They already take his image. But God is saying, I want to deliver you from that spirit. You are not going to die, Lucia. Fear is inside you. Longola Kubanga. You scared too much. You are not going to die. You have a long, 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 long life. Can I say something? There's a sickness hereditary is in your family. Maladie hereditaire. That is coming from your papa. I see some people in your family die with the same sickness. Even you is in your blood. But God says he's going to deliver you. Also compre maladie hereditaire. That one is in the blood. Hmm? C'est la vérité. Is that true? C'est la vérité. Tu vois que maman wana kala. C'est la vérité. We raise you English. Eh? You know that way. C'est la vérité. Eh? Kala, talk to Zekina, talk about Wendo. <laughs> Lucia, tell your family they must break that spirit. Maladie hereditaire, blood sickness. Please, your family they must, because I see that chain is following your family and you also, and your children, children. Brise, esprit one, they must break that sickness, because from the blood, because I see Papa, he was having a lot of sickness, and that sickness is already entered from the, even you is in your blood. But the blood of Jesus is going to clean you today in the name of Jesus. You shall never have the same sickness in the name of Jesus. Because that sickness, let's see, is not a physical. They throw by his family. So all the children, they must die with the same sickness. Include you also. But the Lord says, you people, you are in synagogue. You are not going to die that sickness. No matter is in your blood, the Lord is going to deliver you today. No matter is in your blood, the Lord is going to set you free. You stress a lot for your family, Lucia. Ozo kanisa mingi, ako vivre ndenge nini, nzamba lobi se lui même ki va pou va. How they go to heat? She think too much. How my family gonna heat? How they going? The Lord is say, he's the one provide for them. He's the one take care of them. Even you send them some dollars, it's not gonna do nothing. But God is the one provide for them. Ona comprendre. Ozo kanisa mingi, bazo li ndenge nini. Hey, what is there? What is Bazo sal ndenge nini. Ce n'est pas ton problem. Problem now is ako priye. Pray for them and the Lord gonna provide for them. Because you can never provide for everybody. If they are 20, you can't provide. But your prayer, it can make you go to provide one by one. You comprend Lucia? Yes. No matter what, you will be qualified next year. From January, I see your name qualification for the job. But they will call you different place from January. They will call you, they will call you, they will call you. Don't forget God. 10% belong to God. People, they forgot God in the synagogue. When we get a job, I don't see 10%. I see only 150 for rent. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you there? When God gives you a job, people, I see only 150 for rent. But I don't see tight. That is the one protects our job. Hallelujah. I see only 500 for rent. But I don't see your name in tight. Please. As a prophet, is it? Thank you for your story. Mama, Nakoya, Nakoya. 10% belong to God. Because I see job. They will call you different place, Lucia. They will call you a lot of place from January, a lot of place for the job. The Lord's going to give you what belongs to you. The place where God will going to fill it and it's going to reverse. This is your place. Other place is not going to be, but one place is where God already prepared for you. Malgré what people they are saying next year, please concentrate, avoid another thing. You shall see this prophecy is going to pass. Control yourself. When you control yourself, this prophecy is going to pass. People that don't control Papa Mike, God's going to give you marriage. You are busy there, jumping in the bed. How would you jump your bed in the bed yourself? They didn't say take shoes, you take shoes yourself. And then you say God is delayed. God is not delayed. Hallelujah, youth, young girl. Are you there? There is a young girl there. Hey, hallelujah. I'm talking to someone here. The young lady. Hallelujah. God's going to bless you, but don't jump in the bed before everything. 
Na longoli na longoli. Ah ah. Not in synagogue. Do not take out. It's not the time to take out. The time gonna come and going to tired. Let God own because that is the problem. God's one is gonna bless people. They they help themselves. Don't help God. Let God help you. Oh, Alobika is like in far. Is this only one time? It's only one time. Only one time. One to test. Test what? Don't be as Adam and Eve. When you become as Adam and Eve, God will test you, chase you. That's why there is no blessing. It's what was happened to Adam and Eve. They try to test. God is say, "Hey, you make a mistake. Come out." People they miss blessing because they want to help God. Oh, my fiance say, "Let us test." Yakakuna, lekakuna, leka wapi? Ah, people of God, be patient. When you are patient, the Lord will give you the best. Also, comprend. Maybe already in, but from today take a decision. Next year, I shall never do it. Brother of synagogue, single one, be careful. Brother of synagogue, do not be rushed to ask. Sister, come. You are a son and daughter of the most high God. God is jealous of you. If you want to marry, man is not enough. Come, I'm going to pray. God is going to provide money for Lobola. Because when you try to do that, that's why you see there is a delay. Because people they don't want to wait. People they don't want to satisfy to, 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 to make God happy. We must God make God happy. You know Mary. Mary was faithful to Joseph. He was found a grace. He received something special. Joseph was not a man. Eh? The machine was not working. <laughs> For Joseph, the machine was not working. It was working, but was precious. Are you there, Papa? Igwe! <laughs> 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 We need good thing next year. We need good marriage. Because when me, I pray for you, you do other things. There's the delays coming. When you are waiting and me, I pray for you, next year, we celebrate marriage. It's what we need. Brother, if you are there, something is wrong. Put cold water and God's going to help you. You give serve, yeah. Use cold water and the Lord's going to neutralize everything. CC, put cold water and the Lord's going to give you the best. Hallelujah. People of God, you know, this prayer we finish. God must bless us. Marriage, good, but control also yourself. Mm, control yourself. Cold water. <laughs> Servant of God. You're, also, you still sing. Control yourself. Use cold water. For nine years now. Clap for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Since the wife died, she's still single. Nine years. She's still control. But what not you, only you? The Lord will give you the best woman. The good one. The one who take care of you. The one going to take off your ministry. The one going to take off your children. The God of 40 days. He will provide for you in Jesus name. Thank you. <laughs> Father Lord, I pray for your servants. I pray for deliverance. I pray for healing. May the Lord heal you. That headache, I silence it and I stop it in the name of Jesus. May the Lord heal you. May the Lord deliver you. May the Lord fight your battle. In every spirit of death. I disconnect from death. You are not going to die. No member of your family is going to die. Any sickness hereditary, I disconnect yourself from that sickness. May the blood of Jesus cover you, protect you, and secure you. Whatever promise that you have received, let the God of 40 days answer you, provide, and accomplish it. Miracle job shall follow you. Miracle marriage, healing, money, good husbands, favor and protection shall be your portion. Let the God of 40 days answer you, provide for you and protect you. Receive a blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. I protect your husband into the blood of Jesus. We want to pray. We're still praying. God must make something new. Something great must locate you. Something great must locate you today. The God of 40 days must answer you today. The God of 40 days must remember you today. May the grace of tonight accompany you. I open the door. That door is still closed. That door is still resist. I open the door for you. Let your door be open. Your door of marriage. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I open the door. Your door of marriage. That is still blocked. That the enemy is still blocked. 
I help any today. I help any today. I help any today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I help any Odo. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 2023, you shall put a white dress. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, take it. 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 Yes, they are there. They are there. The hands are there. Take your marriage. Take your marriage. Take your marriage. Yes. Take it. They shall leave you. That demon of your father's side. They shall leave you. They shall leave you. They shall leave you. They shall leave your marriage. Yes. Those are standing in your marriage. Yes. Out. Out from this body. Out from this body. Yes. La Rose, out. This demon must leave you. The demon of your father. Those that don't want to get marriage. Yes. I take them out. Out from that body. Out from that face. Yes. Yes. They must leave you. Out from the face of this lady. Out with mask. Any mask they put on you. Today is your last day. The mask must go. The mask must go. In the name of Jesus. The mask must go. That demon. Yes. Whatever they deposit on you, yes, it must go. <laughs> Today is your day, La Rose. <laughs> whatever they, yes, all the chain, all the chain, they must cut. Yes, whatever they put on you so the man can never come. Yes, yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, they must leave you. They must leave you. Your body must be free. Your face must be free. And I, clear, I clear your face. Your face must be clear. Your face must be clear, La Rose. This year, 2023, we shall celebrate your wedding. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Your road, I clear your road. Clear everything. Yes. Everything must be clear. Yes. Everything must be clear. Whatever they stop you, they shall never stop you. No one gonna stop you. Go and shine. Go and dominate. Go and run. Thank you, Lord. You are free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come back for your marriage. Thank you, Lord. Want to pray? God must do something new. Amen. Really, the blessing must locate you. Miracle must locate you. Testimony must look. We need testimony. You will say, Lord, provide even one testimony. That's going to silence my enemy. Provide even one miracle. That's going to silence my enemy. God must provide even one miracle. That is going to silence your enemy. One miracle. Let me tell you, what is the name again? Mm. Tasia. Pray a lot in the month of December. Because I see the people gathering. Speak evil against you. Against your marriage. Against your home. They are gathering already since one week. They are busy gathering. What they're gonna do to take your soul out to kill you is a big problem spiritually. But your God loves you. He said He will never leave you. They are gathering. There's a group of the people in Congo. They are gathering for you. But the God that He said must tell you is gonna defend you. Amen. Your hand is clean. As your hand is clean, that is the way your heart is clean. You and your husband you must pray until we cross over 31st December. Pray for God to give you victory. They plan for them. They want to throw ambuscades. Bomb. Is what they want to throw the bomb. Black. I see a black bomb. You see, what me explain in, in, in my language? No, not black bomb. We call it radia mouchi. We call what in English? Radia noir. A black thunder. Is what they are prepared to throw in your house in the mass of December. December do not be in destruction. They already say anyone that thunder is going to touch is a black thunder. We are ready to prepare. Because in Congo, December, I see rain is raining. They go and take the dirty thunder. Eh? Because Congo, in the realm of the spirit, God showed me December is going to be winter time. And they already prepared. They go take the thunder, the black one. Ready to From Congo, that is in Cape Town in your house. Please. You and your husband be in the prayer. Because they already said that's it. Tanda. Anyone can touch, he can touch. Ile itabamba, ule itabamba, itabamba. Ikiwa batoto, ikiwa buwana. Ikiwa anyone. Ule itabamba, razi itabamba. The battle is there. They're already gathering. December, you and your husband be in the mood of the prayer. I know by the fact, if you invite me for one million dollars, I will come December in your house. <laughs> From 1st December, if you invite, Mama Esther, we provide one, how much? One thousand, me and you. We we'll go remove that thunder. Amen. Because that thunder, they are not throwing it now. They prepare to throw it from 1st December. So me and you, I'm going to go to take the thunder. Like that. Boom. Back to <laughs> so make sure me, you and your, you call hands on 1st December. Because that thunder, they already prepared it for December. You are December too. Make a plan. I'm just joking for a million. Make a plan. If you are free first. Me, I'm not there for money, but yourself provides. You must think yourself. December, my mind is a family. I must provide. I don't ask. I will come on 1st December. Remind me. Because I don't want that thunder. You know, that thunder is dangerous. It makes people die. One of my friends died. Like, he was sitting in the house. 
Pooh, that thunder, black thunder come. He entered, Pooh, she died prematurely there. When they call us, they say, thunder was entering the house. They go to Sangoma. They say Tanda was entered because she was sitting and they just throw a Tanda there. Bantu Paradi, she died one time. Do you understand? So, one prophecy come, I remember already what I lost my, ba my, first fr my best friend. So, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose my baby. Give me five. That Tanda will never touch you. Amen. Where's the boy? Come, boy. The Tanda going to go back to the sender. Oh, yes. Where the Tanda is coming, he's going to go back to the sender. Greet me. Thunder will never touch me. Lamuki. Thunder will never touch you. Even if Thunder tender, don't you know? But I'm here to declare. You can be Chinese speaking. Greet me. I'm a prophet of God. Tender is not going to touch Amen. you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When we reveal, we need to be careful. Oh, yes. Whatever I speak, God is speaking. Take it in consideration. Mungota kukumbania vita. Battle is too much. They are gathering. I say so, so there's a point in gathering. When people are gathering, something must happen. When the Christian gathering, blessing must come down. Mm. When Father Dadayang, don't put it. Make sure first December, invite us. Invite me, invite us and the Are you gonna go? Be ready. Are you ready? More than ready. <laughs> Amen. This one is ready. I'm not coming alone because we need to come even 10 people to take out that standard. From first December. It can be Sunday, please. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose your husband. I don't want to lose your children. God must give you people victory. Amen. We are about to pray. How are you? All right. You are a visitor. You are here on sand. Who promised a microphone? It's not you. Oh, she don't know. We are about to pray for God to do something new. God must do something new today. Father, we finish the prayer. Make my love to be new. Amen. Clap your hand and pray in the name of do Jesus. Do something new in my life. Something new. In I send the angel. Amen. They are busy protecting. Esther, don't worry. They are not, no one gonna, that is the word he's speaking to me. Amen. He said, you're not going to lose anyone in your Amen. ministry. Amen. All of them, they'll cross over. Oh, yes. Us and our family. That means we have a guarantee. The brother that you pray, you're not going to lose the person is close to you. Amen. You are not going to lose the member of your family. Amen. No, God of sin and God give us guarantee. Amen. Themselves, they must die. Oh, yes. The witch, they must die. Not among us, no one. Our kids, they shall never die. They shall never be a sacrifice.